Unless you've been living under a rock, you'd have noticed that flat lays, or top-down shots as they're often called, are very cool and trendy. But they're quite difficult to achieve perfectly. And I'm gonna show you my absolutely perfect top-down setup. You... Now what I want to do here is show you my top-down setup and how I've perfected it over the years. There are better ones to be had, but they're extremely expensive. This I find is good bang for buck. We're gonna go through the parts, the rationale, the lot of it. Now, one part I'm about to upgrade is the actual head for the tripod. I could do with a better one, a ball socket head is not ideal, but I just moved to the uh, Swiss plate and none of my geared heads work for this, but this will soon be a geared tripod head. So the whole thing, the problem is we want the camera top down and to be able to do it all nicely, it needs to be stable, all that good stuff. Let me take the brakes off this bad boy over here. The problem with top downs is, and you, you'll have made this mistake before, if you put your camera on a C stand, it's like having it on a wobble board. So what you need is this big bit of kit here. This is called a salon stand or a studio stand. It's a big plinth. They're really expensive apart from if you go and buy one on eBay or in a studio clearance, they're either free or cheap. You can get like one of these for like 300 pounds. If you're feeling a bit flush, you can get one for 25,000 pounds, but Get a cheap second-hand one. Second-hand's good. Second-hand is where it's at. But this is the first thing. It lets you do this. Look. Up it goes. Down it comes. All very good. Put the camera in top-down position. Zoop. You have to make the sound effects to go with it, obviously. Put it there. Tighten that off. And then all we need to do is get this level. And I will often use a spirit level at this point just to get the camera perfectly level. And you put the spirit level on the back here. I can see it's not quite right. So we'd find it just all that good stuff. That's the basics of it. So this is here, very stable and sturdy, horizontal camera shooting down. But there's a bit more to it than that because this is great. Look, I'm here. I can see the back screen if I have a live view on. I can look down the viewfinder. The problems come when it's up here. All of a sudden, I need a step ladder to get up there to look into it, and the table's in the way and I can't reach. And that's where these bits of kit here come in. Let me just move some of this out of the way. Got here a Mars Hollyland M3 wireless monitor. It's just clamped here with a Manfrotto clamp onto this. And you'll see up here, I've got a wireless transmitter. So this wireless transmitter sends the signal from the back of the screen here down to this. So I can now focus it without looking at it because I can see the screen there. We've got a second one on a monitor on the tether trolley so the stylist and everyone else can see it as well because they need to see what's going on in camera and when it's right out of the way, you can't see and you're guessing and then taking frames just to, oh, it's a nightmare. But this wireless system has really helped with that. Now another really important thing is if you've got this all set up perfectly and you're doing a really intricate top down shot, you're going to want to make sure that the battery doesn't die and you have to change the battery and you knock the camera a little bit. So mains power, mains power is key. You're going to have a lot of live view going on here. And whilst you're on live view, it eats the batteries. So you buy a, a, an LPE6 dummy battery and you plug it into the mains. Such a good way to do it. We always make sure that we have a, should I pull it down a bit? A dual flash firing system, which sounds really fancy. I've just made that up on the spot. We've got a trigger here and we've got a PC sync cable and we'll use both. The battery's done on this, we don't want to be climbing up to the ceiling to get it and potentially knocking the table, uh, you know, and that's very important. Now, we're shooting at the moment on one of these electric desks that go up and down. An easy way to keep things more manageable is to shoot on the floor. Seems really obvious. I <laughs> can't tell you how long it took me to realise that. But with this table here, it's good so we can move it up and down. But it's not that complex. It's a, it's a tripod head a salon stand, a wireless transmission system, which is very good. This does 4K as well, which is useful if you want a really detailed screen for when you're doing stuff and you've got a bigger camera on there, but we just use it in like 720, 1080p. Absolutely fine. Everything is either battery powered and accessible or lasts all day or mains powered if it's going to die. If anything's gonna die during the course of a shoot, you mains power it. Like the monitor here, we can battery power that so we can change it with no problems. This one here lasts about a week on a battery, so we put a new one in each day and it works really well. It's just, it's one of those things that I spent a long time perfecting and now I've got it to a place where I'm like, yes, this is the system, this is the setup, the latest edition being these monitors and wireless transmitters and they've made a huge difference and we just did a, a quite a long shoot for a brand and, and this was really good, the stylist loved it because she could see on the big screen over there or on the screen on the table, 
I could focus just by touching the camera and not having to worry about seeing into it. It was just a nice experience. Let me know what your top down setups are down below. That sounds weird in the context of this video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.